I'm trying to think about now wearing my semantic hat, what we do and, and how we're contributing. I mean, our, what we do is protect information. That's our, our core business. Um, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about what it is that we're seeing, um, you know, what we're protecting against right now, where we see it going, uh, and maybe some, some things that you know, have gone well over the past couple of years. Um, so, so the way we do that is through what the company called the Global Intelligence Network, which collects security information worldwide. Um, we have uh, over um, 100 million, I believe, 140 million installed customer base. They, you know, they're able to, it's a voluntary process, but share information. Um, we have 240,000 sensors around the world. Um, and then there we have um, uh, honeypot network, we call it, decoy accounts, 5 million decoy email accounts. So through all these different vehicles, we're able to keep track of, of new and emerging threats on the internet. Um, and every year we publish a report, and what I'm going to talk to you about now is, is some, of the, some of the info from the Internet Security Threat Report that came out a few months ago. Normally this is a, an hour-long presentation that we say is limited given the time, so in, in five minutes it'll be really limited. But yeah, you know, it's on our website if you want more information or if you want an um, old-school paper version copy of it, you can let me know. Um, but you know, one of the things we saw in the past year is 75% of the enterprises that we deal with saw some form of cyber attack. Um, so that is a significant number. Those are just ones we, we knew about. Um, there were 403 million unique variants of malware out there last year. Um, that's not to say 403 million individual viruses, but the unique variants that you need to protect against that malware you know, has a way of morphing to hide itself. Um, we saw a big increase in mobile vulnerabilities, and we think that's something that's going to continue um, as uh, the crooks find new ways to monetize your BlackBerry, your Android phone, your iPhone. Um, spam actually went down in the past year, um, and while that might be good news, there, there's some reasons in terms of some law enforcement efforts, but it's also a representative of a significant shift to web-based attacks. So it's not that the bad guys are going away, it's that they're evolving. And one of the ways they're evolving is through the use of social media. Um, they're very effective at uh, using social media, whether it's a specifically directed attack at a person or a new broad-based attack, but to make it more appealing using different uh, techniques. One of, the, one of my favorites from the past year was the dislike button for Facebook. Um, how many, I assume most folks here use Facebook, how many of you have the dislike button on your, you no know one, because it's not real. But what, what you, you may see is a pop-up which tells you how to, how to put a dislike button uh, into your Facebook account. And what you're essentially doing is the, is the bad guy's job for them. You're installing, you're running a little script on your computer which then installs their malware. Um, but there's a lot of psychology involved to being a good bad guy. Um, so they use that and other techniques to get at people. You're going to trust things that come from your friends more than from some random email. We all know at this point don't open an email or an attachment or whatnot if we don't know who it's from. Um, and lastly, there was a big increase in data breaches last year, uh, largely hacktivism driven, but the end result is the same. People have their, their personal information exposed. Um, you know, that's all a little bit worrisome, but I think the future is a little, frankly, more scary and probably most likely in, in, in the area of mobile devices. Last year, there were 67 different variants of, of mobile malware we saw. There were three or 4,000 variants per. That number sounds high. It's pretty low compared to PCs, but um, the increase, we call it the hockey stick curve, it was fairly level in 2010, it shot up in 2011, and we think it's going to go up even more because if you think about the way we use our devices today, um, business, personal, whatever, we have a huge amount of information, um, both obvious personal information contacts, but in the background, you, lose, you automatically log in if you go to this website or another website, all that's on your computer there to be taken, or on your, on your mobile device, essentially a computer. Um, so the, the malware authors, the criminals see that and they're increasing their effort to get on them. Um, uh, and then again, fish, uh, the phishing, as I talked about through social media, that's going to that's gonna continue to evolve. You can see social, you will see more social media based attacks uh, because they work. The return rate on them is a lot higher than on traditional, you know, the, the emails you get telling you how you can get 10% you know, of the money that's hidden offshore. 